I have been called uh, by many people who have lost friends and family during this time of COVID. And not only that the loss, the essence of loss is there for the person uh, in everyday life. Even when people are not living together or they're not even in the same city and they're not part of the everyday life, um, just a matter of facing death, mortality, loss, and the concept of um, bringing meaning into life and what happens when life becomes shortened by something that it wasn't the person's doing, it brings a lot of thoughts and emotions for people. Thoughts and emotions that they have to deal with consistently. Some people go through sadness, some go through anger. And they can't really put their anger on a particular uh, subject or be mad at the person who died or be mad at a disease. So they start getting angry at everything that's around them and pick at everything, um, their husbands, their children, their work. It's as if they put a question mark on every decision they make. They put a question mark on the value of everything that is around and um, even their own value. Am I worth it? Um, why am I doing this? Should I even make more effort? Life is so, so short. Let it be. Let me just go into a space of um, you know, recklessness because what's the point? So it's almost like even daring um, life and daring death that I'll show you. You know, Either you're going to get me or I will get you and I'm in control. So if for any reason you are experiencing any of that and you have lost someone, first and foremost, I'm sorry and my condolences. And then hang in there because this is a process. It's a process of us facing um, what we don't anticipate to face. And every time we talk about death is something far away or there's always this hope and bargaining that it just won't happen to me and I can beat it somehow, or it's something that I don't have to deal with. Um, so if those are part of what you're going through, just letting you know, it is normal. And we're going to go through these processes and slowly but surely we'll find our footing and we become centered again and um, come back and enjoy the things that we have. Sometimes also when we face death, instead of it, questioning everything, we actually go back into the value. Instead of it becoming worthless, it becomes valuable. And we know that at any moment, this might no longer be here. My body, the way it is, might not be here. These types of relationships might not be here. These experiences might not be here. So that I would value every moment as if it may be the last. And being with the present moment and valuing it, will bring back some of the joy and some of the uh, peace of mind and allowing yourself to just be with and go into the flow of what is, is going to bring you back and um, make you valuable to yourself and everyone around you valuable to you and every experience valuable again. So don't fight the sadness, honor it, you have every right to go through the grief for what you have lost and even the meaning or the safety and security that we all have as an illusion that life is just going to continue every day the way it is and um, embrace the uncertainty and anything that you're going to do in order to take care of yourself and the rest, you're going to live with the uncertainty and hope for the best. But what is, um, is whatever it is around you that is valuable, whether you created it or you received it as a gift. So honor yourself, honor all that's showing up for you and um, enjoy the life you have.
Togetherness Media. Togethernessmedia.com. <laughs>